Right. So, activity recognition is the study of actions, behaviors, and goals of an individual with the aim to provide some sort of assistance. Now these activities can be very basic such as if a person is walking or sleeping or, or running around or can be more complex such as if a person is making breakfast. Now a typical activity recognition classifier works by gathering you know label data from uh, predefined categories or activities of interest and then you know um, uh, trains the, the, the classifier and when it observes some action in the future it tries to tag whether, uh, uh, you know, it tries to tag these activities in one of these predefined categories. However, this classifier will fail if it observes uh, uh, some action that it has not seen before, or if it has seen some abnormal activities that it has not seen ever uh, before. So, uh, this classifier will, will try to basically classify these, uh, this, this abnormal activity in one of the uh, predefined categories, which will be a wrong decision in any case. Uh, so, uh, in, in my research, I am arguing that you know, identification of uh, activities of normal activities is, is important. However, uh, identification of abnormal activities is more challenging and more interesting because it can have direct implication on the health, on the health and safety <coughs> of, an, of an individual. Now, one can argue that you know, we can uh, actually you know, collect data for, for these unusual events and, and we can train these classifiers in the traditional sense. However, the problem is that unusual events are rare. We don't fall every day. They're unexpected. Some of us may never uh, experience a stroke ever in our life. And they are diverse and difficult to model in, in, in advance. Uh, uh, therefore, um, this becomes a very you know, interesting problem because either we don't have any uh, data for the unusual events or we may have very statistically insignificant data to uh, learn these classifiers. Um, so I'm, uh, I have actually proposed some, some probabilistic model to deal with this problem. Uh, and I'm also trying to um, uh, explore the use of uh, uh, modern day is smartphones uh, to identify these un unusual events because uh, they're they are non-invasive, uh, they're equipped with sensors that, that have been used in the past for uh, you know, traditional activity recognition. Another motivating fact, uh, reason to use these smartphones are that they're easy to use and carry, easily available, and they're getting more popular and pervasive as we speak. So in short, my... Uh, uh, so in short, my uh, thesis work can be summarized with this sentence that I don't know what it is, but I know that I don't know. Th thank you very much.